and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And you're probably looking at that screen and you're like, that looks familiar. Well, yes, it is. Um, this was pattern 78813 on friendshipbracelets.net. And I liked it, but there were some elements that I didn't quite care for. And one of them is, see this red right here? See how it goes over top of like everything before finally going under the purple and then it stays under. It kind of kind of makes me a little bit crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to alter the pattern because that's what I like to do. So I'm going to try to just copy what I need here. Control C and we're going to bring that over here. Control V. Um, we're going to move that to a new new layer and we're going to see if we can't put this off to the side. Yeah, it's a little too big. Let's shrink it a bit. And that seems like a lot, but whatever, that's okay. So now we can just kind of scooch this up here so I can kind of see how we get this thing started. Um, I already have the colors picked out for this. In fact, um, I've already sent that over to Mandy to have the Kumi made. So it's going to be in shades of green. So maybe I use some of the greens just for the sake of whatever. Um, the first one was sort of... Maybe I'm trying to do this from memory, so I have no idea. All right, paint bucket. So this one green is replacing, oh, wrong layer. Uh, repl oh, I swear to God, I always try to fix that beforehand and I somehow always seem to forget. All right, so it's, This is all the way out here and bouncing, and then it's over here. Yes, I could have almost have worked off of this instead. Um, but the quality of the image would look less than great for my web page. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Um... I think for general purposes, though, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the colors like this to be able to make it so that way um, the we can see which ones are going over and under. And, okay, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of kind of trying to figure out where everything actually is so okay first off we have the orange went over top of the red and now we've got i guess it's the yellow whoops this was supposed to be wait why was oh no there's a gray one in between okay so wait I don't have, I'm not using a gray, I'm using a sort of a darker green, which is, eh, that's not dark enough. I won't be able to tell the difference, so there we go. That makes more sense. And that's why this comes out four. Got it. Yeah, once this is set up, it should be easy-ish. Okay, so the yellow goes over top of the orange. And then we have another, so this one is the lighter green, this is lighter green. So these run parallel with these, same as how these are running this way. I 
I really thought this was going to be super easy, but now I'm like looking at it going, man, it's, uh, it's a thing. Okay. So this darker color is going to come under here and that's our odd ones there. This color is coming this way. And that gives us our red up here. All right, so then, so it's the two lights. Yeah, see if when we zoom in on this, how that just looks crummy. That. So it's these two, then the, the odd one, and then another one of these. And then the purple is in between that. So the red went under the, the orange, but now it's going to go over top of the purple. And then there'll be another dark one down here. And then the red changes direction off of that. Wait, so what's in the corner? So it's the purple, then the dark one, and then another one of these background ones. And then another dark. So yeah, I'm kind of following my old pattern kind of a lot. Um, so... I don't know if that's helping me. Whoops, that's not going to go that way. This is going to come this way. All right, so now what is... So this call comes out that far. And then it goes... Because it went over. And then now... The purple is going to go over top of that. This has, whoops. So those, those flank that, these flank this. There'll be another dark down here. So these ones just pretty much pop up only when a dark goes over top of the dark. So that's sort of interesting um it's kind of weird that the red is out for as much as it is over here right so it's the And I kind of almost guessing that they all sort of do that now. So this, this flanks that, this comes out to here. So all of these come all the way out to the edge and back. And then So it's the darks that are out here. Um, see, I accidentally hit the line. Okay. So yeah, it does look like that. It looks like it's going to be like a really long one out on this side. We'll see what happens with the rest of this here in a moment. Um, so this orange goes all the way to the corner and back in. Oh, and because it was under, it's going to go over top of the purple. Oh, that's... So 
So I kind of, okay. So I know that the gist of the pattern was going to change a lot, but I did not know necessarily what that would look like in the overall. And so I am, I am absolutely genuinely surprised at some of what I'm seeing here because, uh, yeah, I didn't know. Um, so yeah, it's the dark, oops, it's the dark in the corner again. Oh wait, that's probably just comes in and does this while this one goes this way. Really probably doesn't matter, but I just know how I will prefer nodding it. So might as well do what makes me happy. Um, so this goes to there and then this will cross over top of it. So yeah, we're starting to take shape. Like I said, once we kind of get it going, it should get easier and, um, yeah. So let's see, this is the darks out here, and this is the edge of this. This is here, this is a dark, and this is the purple over there, and it will cross over top of this red. I think it goes one more. Yeah. Wow. So the ones on the side, whoops, go a whole bunch more. That's really fascinating. I think that goes there. I'm kind of curious what happens when it hits the center because we started um, at the top. This could hit a weird thing in the middle. And then the question will be, do I really want to... Uh... Hang on, something's wrong, right? Am I right? Oh, yeah, to something's totally wrong. These go here. This goes here. That's why. Wow. So now the yellow comes under, three, four, five, like that. Yeah, we're kind of getting faster at this, I guess. Ooh, and we're almost to the middle. So we're about to find out what it does. Because I do intend on flipping it and kind of letting it do whatever it wants to do. Because pretty much when you flip it, um, all the strings will match up. Everything will be potentially correct could it be weird absolutely okay so the red was over before now it goes under the purple and then over the yellow
dark one goes here and here. This is the orange coming through, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is going to end on a really weird note, which might make this way more interesting than I had anticipated. Right? Because then that just kind of ends right there. So I don't know if you can see, like, there's the center line. So that ends right there. Um, so over here we have this. And then the yellow comes in. And the yellow... Yeah, the yellow would have come one more. Oh, this is going to get really, really weird. Um, although I have to admit, I'm slightly tempted in bringing it down, like making it just slightly longer. But no, I guess this works out. All right, let me fill in underlying colors because when we flip this around, um, I don't want to have to do twice as much work, so. Actually, let's go this way. Like I said, this is just, I know that'll be my preferred way of doing it. So technically, if you guys wanted to, you could just take this pattern and continue running with it in the same method it's going, and it would look really super cool. Um, and I get that. That would be pretty neat. Um, I kind of came into this knowing that... Um, I was going to try to let this go and do its own thing and become interesting and different and whatever. And, uh, yeah, it is, it is exactly that. It is something very, very different. And that excites me. That makes me kind of happy that it's going to be something, you know, like nothing else. And, um, yeah, I'm good with that. And if somebody really wanted it made by me doing it the other way, you can get a hold of me and, uh, let me know and offer me a price as to how much you're willing to pay. And if I think that's reasonable, then sure. Um, have to admit if you send it and you told me that you wanted to, to pay like five dollars i might just block you <laughs> and uh, like never talk to you ever ever again because obviously that would be an insult
something this size is a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of time. And the funny thing is, is like I say this, right? And it sounds like, you know, seriously. But yeah, there are people who have wanted me to make things um, essentially for the cost of the string itself. And um, I don't understand their thinking at all. I 100% I, I don't get it. If you're if you like an artist's work, why would you tell Rembrandt or, you know, whoever that, yeah, I'll pay for your supplies, but I want you to, to do, you know, this, this huge project take days or whatever. I mean, maybe this isn't days, maybe this is a day worth of work and, uh, but I'll just pay you the cost of the materials. They just don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Oh, and heads up, if let's say we get into a discussion like this, and let's say you took a look at this thing and you're like, dude, I totally want that. And you told me, I'll give you $150. I will be incredibly flattered. Um, I would honestly know at that point that you appreciate my work and be really excited about that. But then I would let you know that I would do it for a price that would be much more affordable. Um, because that would be a lot of money for something this size. And I bring all this up because there is somebody who is offering to buy something of mine. And I keep asking them, like, to make an offer. I just want to know what they think my work is worth. It was something I didn't intend on selling. And um, I kind of don't want to necessarily sell it. But if you, if you make me a good enough offer, you, you show me that you actually admire my work or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll take it into consideration and we can go from there. I doubt the person actually watches my videos. I don't think they knew much about the work itself. I think they just saw it and thought that they would like to have it. So we'll see how that goes. This will be the little saga that's sort of going on right now in my life. I don't, I don't even know what to tell them. Like I, I've told them to make an offer and um, they just keep saying, well, how much? So it kind of makes me feel like it's either a bot or I have another theory. I It's a person who's capable of making big things um, but want to know how much I would charge for something like that. So that way they can base their prices off of my things and that's why they keep saying how much how much how much and it's like make me an offer but how much Let's just stop 
Okay, so everything else that's left is the lighter green. So now I'm going to wait, fill whole selection. There we go. Okay, control A, go back to the similar thing. There we go. Cool. All right, so I can get rid of our thing that we used to get it started up here. So I'm using the guideline to snap onto that. And then we can do the flip tool. Now, I just learned this here recently. If you bring the flip tool, see right now it, it's set to flip it horizontally. But if you bring it right down to the line, it changes from horizontal to the vertical. And so, oops, control Z. I need to copy and paste that first thing. And control C, control V. Right? But it will, it will change the direction because it, it sees the grid line. And then it automatically lines it up perfectly. I don't have to do that thing where I move it around anymore. I, that to me is awesome. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, see, it's gonna do a wonky W with the, the yellow. I like what it does with the red though. That's really kind of fun. I, I really like this, guys. This is this is going to be an interesting one to do. And I'll need the pattern to get it started, and then I can I can get going. I'll be fine until I start to approach the center. Then I'm going to have to concentrate really hard, get everything to do its whatever. Then it'll be fine, and then I'm going to have to watch it again to be able to end it. But that's my pattern. This is this is what I was thinking about trying out when uh, I thought I would try it a different way. Um, tomorrow you get to see and hear what kind of insights I have for you. So uh, yeah, it'll be fun. All right, thank you to my Patreon supporters who make this possible without your guys' help. Oh, and YouTube members, which by the way, YouTube members might actually be watching this live stream as I'm recording this. So that's a thing but thank you to both you guys the, the patreon and youtube for making this stuff possible i really do appreciate it and um as always don't get your strings in a bunch <laughs>